From our smartwatches to our cell phones and our tablets, wireless connectivity is key for the smart personal devices we use every day. As engineers developing the next generation of smart devices, we need to ensure the antennas in these devices will not only perform, but also perform safely. For example, this is a wearable drug delivery pump. It uses a Bluetooth antenna to set delivery rate and monitor the device. Let's put ourselves in the engineer's shoes. Will the antenna perform well in its environment? And are the emissions safe for the patient? These are crucial questions, and if we get them wrong, we may fail regulatory testing. Luckily, Electromagnetics Engineer on 3D Experience makes it easy to answer these questions so we can have confidence in our design. Right in SolidWorks, we can save our model to the 3D Experience platform and launch a new antenna project in CST Studio Suite. We can assign materials from the extensive material library, making the antenna and its environment as accurate as possible. The interface makes it fast to define the study and create field monitors for results. We're ready to run, harnessing the high-performance computing power of the 3D Experience Cloud to get our results quickly. CST Studio Suite makes it simple for us to visualize the performance of the antenna, which would otherwise be invisible. Field plots, far fields, and S parameters tell us if the antenna is operating optimally. Here, we see the antenna is not performing at the correct frequency and doesn't have enough return loss. We can easily modify the antenna geometry in SOLIDWORKS and update our simulation with a few clicks, because they're connected. Now, we see the design is performing right on frequency with a very strong return loss. Let's share this good news with our team using 3D Experience. On any device, we can view results, make comments, and add markups. Collaborating from anywhere and making design decisions is easier than ever before. We verified the antennas performing well, but we can't forget user safety. For devices like this, the FCC specifies a maximum specific absorption rate. From CST's built-in biomodels library, we can import a human arm and run a specific absorption rate, or SAR, study. These detailed biomodels include skin, blood, bone, muscle, fat, and they're fully posable. In this case, we're over the allowable limit. No problem, we'll model an absorber in SOLIDWORKS and rerun the study. Now, the SAR is well under the allowable limit, but placing the absorber next to the antenna and placing the whole assembly next to the human arm can affect the antenna impedance. The strong on-frequency signal is now weaker and slightly off-frequency. Adding a matching circuit and updating the results is quick with built-in automation. We update the results, and there. Now we verified we're safe to use and that the antenna is performing well. We're on track to bring this device to market. Well, we can breathe again. The device should perform well and safely, and it wasn't a long process. We were able to quickly set up studies right from our SOLIDWORKS model to verify antenna performance. Connectivity through 3D Experience made design changes fast and finding the optimal design a quick process. The detailed bio models give us accurate insight into the performance and safety of the antennas and confidence that we'll pass testing. Electromagnetics Engineer gives a lot of insight into the performance of this device and it can give you valuable insight into your designs. Reach out to your local SOLIDWORKS reseller to learn more about how these tools can help with your next project.